Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the businesses worldwide, BASIS brings business expertise to and encourages business participation in the IGF. Like the IGF, businesses firmly believes in the vast potential of the internet and other electronic communication tools to drive positive social and economic changes. There has been a huge democratization of the internet. People the world over are accessing the web through different devices, from mobiles and smartphones, personal digital assistants, interactive video and multimedia systems, voice response systems, kiosks, and even certain domestic appliances. In a country like India, mobile phones are available at $30, and online services reach the masses at a cost of a few pennies through government kiosks. But there's a long way to go. Global statistics on internet users per 100 inhabitants reveal the disparity between developed and developing countries. 66 out of every 100, 100 inhabitants in the developed world compared with 18 in every 100 inhabitants in the developing world have access to the internet. In developing countries, there are also glaring disparities. In India, for instance, of the 51 million active internet users, 40 million reside in the urban areas, as opposed to only 11 million in rural areas. There is a huge investment being made in India to provide broadband access to 626,000 Indian villages by 2012. This will bring millions into the internet family. Internet access combined with mobile technologies will spawn a wave of local entrepreneurs and create greater access to social services, transport, education, finance, and healthcare. In India, business is partnering with government to make this possible. The world is in collaborative mode because we are increasingly becoming interdependent. The recent economic crisis and the challenges of climatic change have demonstrated it. They've also demonstrated that the solution to such problems lies in the joint effort involving all stakeholders. The internet belongs to all, to the poorest, to the richest. Therefore, the governance of the internet concerns all, and getting governance right is more crucial than ever. All stakeholders must keep working through issues together so that we avoid conflicts and barriers that could impede growth and the development of the internet. The future development of the internet must include the engagement of all relevant stakeholders. The IGF provides us all with a unique opportunity for the generation of new partnerships, ideas, discussion of real experiences and challenges, and the sharing of best practices, which are all necessary for the successful development of internet-related policies. Over the past five years, the IGF has made a lot of progress. Policy discussions of key governance issues, such as critical internet resources, access and diversity, and security and privacy, openness have taken place and built on previous discussions. There has also been a greater focus on developmental issues. The range of stakeholders participating in the IGF has not only become larger, but more diverse, and looking ahead, businesses recognize the need to continue working together, addressing new issues, and expanding participation. In a global economy with global supply chains and markets, the internet is critical for businesses around the world. Working with all stakeholders, we can establish the right environments and new business models to help the internet and those using it reach full potential. Allow me to share an example from India. People at Bagapalli village in India feel they are blessed. The turning point in their lives was the creation of a business process outsourcing center in town through, enabled through internet connectivity. Such rural BPOs offer jobs to young people who would otherwise have migrated to bigger cities. By training them in communication skills, soft skills and processes, for six, eight weeks, they are ready to take up assignments. More than 50% of the employees at the rural center are women. Working at the center helps the employees to save money for the marriage, pay off debts, buy sewing machines, and cows and buffaloes for their families. This is social transformation in action. Today, I have a platform to share this story with you because here at the IGF, we can engage in candid and open exchanges on a range of existing and emerging internet issues. Cloud computing, for example, promises to empower developed and developing countries alike. However, like many other issues we discuss here at the IGF, cloud computing raises an array of policy issues from access and security to applicable law and jurisdiction. To consider the many benefits of cloud computing and the challenges to its adoption, join us for a workshop jointly hosted with the government of Kenya on Thursday morning in room 1 at 11.30. 
We also extend an invitation to our open forum on data protection and privacy on Wednesday at 11.30. For the first time, we will showcase ICC's work to help address trans-border data flows and other data protection and privacy issues. Ladies and gentlemen, business is a leading partner in establishing the kind of programs and initiatives that are helping people in cities and rural areas extend use of, extend use of the internet for their economic and social benefit. Businesses worldwide has come to trust the IGF as a venue to gain insights and new perspectives and come away with ideas and best practices that will have an impact on our respective communities. There is no other forum that includes all relevant stakeholders and allows us for the kind of exchange we have at the IGF. Thus, we strongly support the continuance of the forum with its founding multi-stakeholder multi intact. We look forward to engaging with you all over the next three days and to develop the future together. Thank you so much.